Have you ever wondered how your smartphone could potentially be spying on you? In this eye-opening video, I'm going to uncover the dark side of the Android world with a dangerous spyware known as SpyNote. Join me as we delve into the intricacies of this alarming spyware and discuss the potential implications it may have on your privacy and security. Stay tuned to learn how to protect yourself from this silent invader. In this video, we will explore the features, distribution, and removal of SpyNote, and how to protect yourself from this dangerous Android spyware. Android is the most popular mobile operating system in the world, with over 3 billion active devices as of June 20,211. However, this popularity also makes it a target for various types of malware, such as spyware, ransomware, adware, and banking trojans. One of the most notorious Android malware is SpyNote. SpyNote is a remote access trojan, which means that it allows attackers to gain remote control over a victim's Android device. Once installed, SpyNote was first discovered in 2016 by Palo Alto Networks 2 who reported that it was being sold on underground forums for $25 to $200. The malware was advertised as a remote administration tool that could allow the attackers to control the infected device remotely. The malware came with a builder tool that could generate customized APK files with different icons and names. The attackers could then distribute these APK files through various channels, such as SMS phishing campaigns, malicious websites, third-party app stores, or social media platforms. The main feature of SpyNote is its ability to spy on the victim's device and collect various types of information. Once installed, the malware requests invasive permissions to access different features of the device, such as contacts, location, microphone, camera, storage, phone calls, SMS messages, and accessibility. If the user grants these permissions, the malware hides itself from the home screen and the recent apps menu, making it difficult to detect and uninstall. The malware also registers itself as a device administrator to prevent the user from removing it easily. The malware then communicates with a command and control server that can send commands to the infected device. These commands can instruct the malware to perform various actions. SpyNote is particularly dangerous because it does not require root access on the victim's device. This means that it can be installed on any Android device, regardless of whether it is rooted or not. Researchers believe that SpyNote is being targeted at YouTube users. The malware has been seen disguised as a variety of YouTube-related apps, such as YouTube Music Downloader and YouTube Premium Cracker. The malware can also steal account credentials for various apps and services, such as Facebook, Google, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, etc. It can also extract Google Authenticator codes that are used for two-factor authentication. The malware can then send all the collected information to the CNC server or a specified email address. SpyNote is a persistent malware that can resist attempts to remove it from the device. It uses several techniques to achieve this, such as abusing the accessibility service to prevent the user from opening the settings menu or uninstalling apps, using broadcast receivers to restart itself if killed by the system or the user, using diehard services to run in the background even if the device is in sleep mode, using root privileges to hide itself from antivirus apps or security scanners. How SpyNote Works SpyNote is typically spread through phishing emails or malicious links. Once a victim clicks on a link or opens an attachment, SpyNote is downloaded and installed on their device without their knowledge. Once installed, SpyNote hides itself from the app launcher and runs in the background. The malware then connects to a remote server controlled by the attackers. The attackers can then use the server to send commands to the victim's device and control it remotely. What SpyNote can do SpyNote can do a wide range of things, including Record audio and video. SpyNote can record the victim's audio and video without their knowledge. This can be used to spy on the victim's conversations or activities. Take screenshots. SpyNote can take screenshots of the victim's device without their knowledge. This can be used to steal the victim's personal information or to track their online activity. Track GPS location. SpyNote can track the victim's GPS location without their knowledge. This can be used to track the victim's movements or to spy on their whereabouts. Steal contacts, messages, and call logs. SpyNote can steal the victim's contacts, messages, and call logs without their knowledge. This information can be used to spam the victim's contacts or to blackmail the victim. Install and uninstall apps. SpyNote can install and uninstall apps on the victim's device without their knowledge. This can be used to install malicious apps or to remove security software. Execute arbitrary commands. SpyNote can execute arbitrary commands on the victim's device. This can be used to damage the victim's device or to steal their data. The only way to remove SpyNote from the device is to perform a factory reset, which will erase all data on the device. However, this may not be possible for some users who have important data on their device that they do not want to lose. 
To protect yourself from SpyNote and other Android malware, you should follow these best practices. Do not install apps from unknown sources or third-party app stores. Only download apps from trusted sources like Google Play Store or official websites. Do not click on links or attachments in suspicious SMS messages or emails. These may lead you to malicious websites or download malicious files. Do not grant unnecessary permissions to apps that do not need them. Check what permissions an app requests before installing it and deny any permission that seems suspicious or irrelevant. Use antivirus apps or security scanners to scan your device regularly for any signs of infection. To detect and remove spy note and other Android malware. Keep your device updated with the latest security patches and firmware updates. These can fix any vulnerabilities that may be exploited by malware. Back up your data regularly to a secure cloud service or an external storage device. This can help you recover your data in case of a malware infection or a factory reset. Be wary of apps that promise to give you free or discounted access to popular apps and services. These apps are often scams and may contain malware. If you are concerned about your security, you can also disable the installation of apps from unknown sources on your Android device. To do this on Samsung phone, go to Settings, then go to Apps. Click three dots, then click Special App Access, then Install Unknown Apps, then disable all that you don't want. SpyNote is a dangerous new Android Trojan that can give attackers complete control over a victim's device. The malware is particularly dangerous because it does not require root access on the victim's device. If you are concerned about SpyNote and other Android malware, it is important to follow the security tips above. You should also use a security app to protect your device from malware and other threats. I hope you learned something new and useful from this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who might be interested in this topic. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and stay safe.